वेलकम टू राजीव राव अकाउंट टूडे लेट सी द थ्री कॉलम कैश बुक ओके सो आई हैव गिवन द प्रॉब्लम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग टू द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू गो थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम इन करेक्ट मैनर ओके सो लेट सी द थ्री कॉलम कैश बुक सी दिस थ्री कॉलम कैश बुक वी आर कॉइंट इन थ्री कॉलम बिकॉज वी आर हैविंग थ्री कॉलम ऑन डेबिट साइड वन फॉर डिस्काउंट कैश एंड बैंक सिमिलरली फॉर डिस्काउंट कैश एंड बैंक since we are having three three columns on both sides we are calling it as a three column cash book here so here simply we here you can say we are having three accounts here in this one one is discount one is cash and the other one is bank okay so normally the features of this three column cash book if you discuss they are something like this the three column cash book normally if you observe cash if you are having it cash is an asset there as such it will start with the two balance brought down if you are having the cash and similarly if you are having money if the businessman is having the money in the bank at that time it is his asset their assets bank account also will start with the two balance brought down sometimes if this particular businessman if he has taken some extra money over the net of what he is having in the account there from the bank at that time bank account will be showing a credit balance at that time we will call it the overdraft balance so if overdraft balance is there at that time you write by balance brought down and you write it in the bank column so First cash account will show a debit balance, so two balance brought down. Opening balance you are going to write it here. If bank is showing a debit balance, the two balance brought down you are going to write it here. Similarly, if bank is showing an overdraft balance, sometimes there at that time instead of debit balance, it will be showing by balance brought down. Credit side will be writing it. Okay, it is the overdraft balance. See, apart from this, when we are doing this three column cash book, one transaction wherein the two fold effect of the transaction, if you are posting it on the opposite side in the same three column cash book. Okay, for so those transactions, we are going to write. We are going to call them as contra entries. Okay, contra entry is nothing but here. If the debit and the credit of the transaction, if you are posting on opposite side of the same account, then we will call it the contra. So normally, this contra entry will come when in a particular transaction, if cash and bank both are involved. That means here, if cash is deposited into bank at that time, our entry will be cash account data to bank. Cash account data to bank. We are going to write it here. And similarly, since bank account is also there, we will write in the bank account by cash. We will write it there. See, this contra is represented by C. So, in this particular general call, in the general LF column, we are going to write contra. Contra is represented by C. Okay. Similarly, when you are drawing the money from the bank for office use, at that time also contra will come because your entry will be cash account at R to bank. That means in cash account, you are going to debit it as to bank. Whereas in bank account you are going to treat it as by cash. Okay, so in these two cases there normally contra entry will come. So contra entry means here the posting of the in other words the debit and the credit of the transaction if you are posting on the opposite side, okay, in the same account then we are going to call it the contra. Got it? So here apart from these the points other points what we should remember here is see if a cash if a cash is received then normally our entry cash account data to that party in cash account column you will write it. You will post it here. If you have received a check, in other words, if the businessman has received a check at that time, we should see whether that check is deposited to the bank on the same day or not. If it is deposited to the bank at that time, bank account data or to that party, you write it and you debit it here in bank column. But sometimes what happens? Check you will receive on one day and on the some other other day it will be deposited into bank. So on the first day when check is received there, at that time what we what how we should do the posting means here. On that day you should post it in cash column. Because you see, on that day you have not deposited into the bank there. So if check is received from one party, just like check is received from X, at that time you write cash account at R B X. Take for example, after that particular transaction, after two days or three days or after the end of the next day, if you observe if that check is deposited to bank, on that day you are going to assume that from cash the money is deposited to bank. So contra entry will come, bank account at R to cash. Okay. So these parts, these points, if you remember it, doing three column cash book is very very simple. Now we can go through the problem. Then you will understand how we are going to post it. See the first problem there. So first problem what he says, June first cash in hand. That means on first of June. Okay, year is not given in the problem. So in the date column we are going to put a question mark here regarding the year. Then again, June first cash in hand he said. So cash in hand means normally cash account it will be showing debit balance there. So there is nothing but on June first. So on June first you write two balance. Brought down because this is the opening balance. Cash account will be showing debit balance, so it will be five thousand three seventy four in cash column. We have written. Then similarly, balance at the bank he said. So bank account is also showing debit balance only here. 
So here you are going to write fifteen thousand. So it is also two balance brought down only fifteen thousand. Then again on third you see on third the transaction is cash sales. Imagine the entry. What is the entry for cash sales? Cash account data are two sales. So this is cash. Cash account data are two sales account. Okay. So this is on third June. Cash account data are two sales in the cash column six thousand. Okay. Then similarly, we are not having sales account here. So the other post we are not doing it. Next paid rupees seven thousand into bank. Where from you are paying? You are taking cash and you are depositing into the bank. So Paid seven thousand into bank means here cash is deposited into bank. So your your entry is bank account data to cash. Bank and cash both are appearing in the entry. So contra entry will come. So observe here bank account data to cash. How we are going to post this entry? You can observe it here. So bank account data to cash. This is contra. In bank account we are going to debit it as seven thousand. Okay. Now observe here. Bank account data to cash, whereas in cash account it should be posted as by. This is a fourth only. So here you are going to post it as by cash. Where contra in cash account you are going to create it here because from cash is going out and in the bank is deposited. Okay, so this is contra. Next, received a check for rupees seven hundred from Suresh. Okay, on seventh, you have received a check from for rupees seven hundred from Suresh. So when you have received a check from Suresh there, immediately you should get a question doubt here whether that check is deposited into the bank on the same day or not. Now observe here. When check is received from Suresh, he said seven hundred. It is not clear whether it is deposited to the bank or not. So for that, what you do? See the remaining transactions. In the remaining transactions, has he said anything about this particular check? Observe there on eighth what he said paid into bank Suresh check he said that means on seventh he has received the check from Suresh and on eighth it is deposited to bank so on the seventh day the check is returned with him only so on seventh you are going to write cash account data to Suresh okay this is on seventh day cash account data to Suresh seven hundred rupees what the check you have received it now on eighth. Paid into bank Suresh check. That means this check is paid into bank. Now where this check is, it is there in the cash. That means now we should assume that this cash is deposited into bank. So what second contra entry will come? What should be the entry? Bank account data to cash account. So in the bank account, we are going to write it as two cash, two cash account. This is on a contra where we should post in the bank column. We should post it as seven hundred. Okay. Then again. Similarly, here on credit side, on June eighth only on the same day, you are going to write it as by cash because it has gone from your cash column there. So seven hundred, right now. Now next tenth date, you see paid to Anand by check nine eighty and discount allowed by him twenty. Okay, who has allowed discount? Anand has allowed discount. You are not Anand. You should think from your business point of view. When Anand has allowed discount, you have received the discount. Okay, so simply you should understand here. Whenever we are paying money to the other party at that time, discount we will receive it. Whenever we are receiving money, discount we will allow to that party. Okay, this is you should understand. That's why discount allowed column will be on debit side. Discount received column will be on credit side. Now observe, you have paid by check. When you have paid by check, your entry will be Anand account debtor. Okay. Are in the account data to bank account because you have paid by check to bank account to discount received account. So here on tenth you will write by Anand by Anand account by Anand account discount how much you have received twenty. So post it in discount column. Then you have paid by check. So in bank column you are going to post nine eighty. Next. Twelfth date you see cash purchases. Okay, you have purchased by paying cash. So your entry is purchase account data to cash. Purchase account data to cash. In purchase account it will be debited. In cash account it will be credited. So by cash, by sorry, by purchases, by purchases account. Okay, on twelfth, how much amount? Two thousand five hundred. Then again. Withdrew from bank for office use. Thirteenth date. 
withdrew from bank for office use. Okay. Withdrew from bank for office use. What is withdrawn from the bank? Cash is withdrawn from the bank for office use. So when cash is withdrawn for office use, your entry will be cash account data to bank. Cash account data to bank. So in other words, here in cash account, we should debit it as a to bank account. To bank account. This is on 13th date. Okay. Cash account data to bank. Cash and bank came as such contra entry it is. So in cash column, you are going to debit. 5000 rupees okay whereas in bank column we should post it on credit side as by cash account contra in bank column it is going out from bank so we are going to create it here okay if cash is debited in other words cash is deposited in the bank it will be debited here if cash is going out from your bank account it will be created here okay like that also you can remember then Received check from fund is limited for 950 and allowed a discount 50. Okay, observe here. Received check from fund is limited for 950. 950 was the check you have received from fund is limited and you have allowed them discount 50. Okay, what you have received? You have received the check. Okay, so here the question should arise in our mind whether the check is deposited in the bank on the same day or not. So for that, what we are going to do? We are going to see the remaining transaction. Check it out the remaining transaction. Anything you said about that 40 check. You can see on 25th date. On 25th date what he says. 40 is limited check dishonored he says. That means on 14th you have received the check from 40 is limited. Okay. Then on 25th the check is dishonored means. Here you should understand. When the banker will dishonor the check. Dishonoring the check means. Banker has shown his reluctance not to make payment on that. On 25th. It will happen only when you are deposited. So here we should assume that on the on the same day on which we have received the check, we have deposited to the bank. So on 14th date, we are assuming that the check is deposited into bank. Okay. So when it is deposited to bank, our entry is bank account data R2. Okay. Bank account data R2, 40 is limited. Forty is limited. Okay. How much you have, how much check you have received? 950 that you have deposited to the bank and a discount and a discount around 50 okay you have around a discount them 50 so in the discount allowed column 50 rupees you are going to write it see on 18th date next after 14 the next time this is on 18th cash sales he said our entry is cash account data are two sales so a cash account data are two sales account it will come cash account data are two sales 18 so in cash column how much 8000 rupees then similarly 20th date paid commission to raju by check if you have paid commission to raju by check your entry will be you have paid what you have paid you have paid commission to raju okay commission is an expense to your business so, so your entry will be commission is a nominal account commission account data to you have paid by check so commission account data to bank will be your entry so here on the credit side you are going to post it as by commission by commission account you have paid by check as such in the bank column you are going to post it as a 200 then 21st date you see cash paid for stationery okay you have paid for cash for stationery so when you have paid for stationery it means your entry should be your entry will be stationery account data to cash so in cash column you are going to post it on credit side by stationery Okay, by stationary where in cash column because cash is going out. Then received check for rupees 200 from Mohan and paid the same into bank. Observe there, you have received a check of 2000 from Mohan and you have paid it to the bank on the same day, he said. So your entry will be bank account data to Mohan account. So bank account data to Mohan account. So bank account data to Mohan account, this is on 23rd. How much? It is paid into the bank, he said. So in the bank column, we are going to post it as a 2000. Then further, on 25th date, 40 is limited check is honored. Observe here, 40 is limited check we have received on 14th. Now this check is dishonored. Observe clearly, if that check is dishonored, what you are going to do, simply are going to return it back to 40 is limited, saying that your check is dishonored. So, whatever postings we have done on the debit side here, they should be cancelled. So, simply what you do, 
whatever the how posted here on the debit side, simply post it on the credit side on the same columns, whereby this debit will get cancelled. So simply what you have written, 240 is limited, you have written here. So here also by 40 is limited. This is on 25th, okay. So by 40 is limited. Okay, this is nothing but dishonored. See, here discount 50 you are written. So here also in discount column 50 you write down. Because we cancel this one, you are posting it on the other side of the account. Similarly, in bank column 950. So like this, a dishonoring check, I am going to post it. Then similarly, 27th you observe. Drew a check for rupees 800 for personal use. Okay, in other words here, a check is drawn for, uh, for rupees 800 for personal use. In other words, money is drawn from the bank, then when you have issued the check there. Okay, money is gone out of your bank. What for it is being drawn? For personal use. Whose personal use? Proprietor's personal use. So your entry is drawings, account, data to bank. Okay, so here you are going to post on the other side as by drawings. In which account we are going to post? Drawings, account, data to bank. It is drawn by check there. So in bank column we are going to post it as 800. Then next, 29th date you see. Paid salary is by check 1500 and by cash 500. That means on the overall you have paid salaries. Okay. Salaries you have paid 1500 by check and 500 by in the terms of cash there. So simply your entry should be salaries. This is an expenditure to you. So salaries account data to bank account to cash account. Okay. Because whatever you have issued the check there for that from bank it will go out. So by salaries. The date is 29. So in the bank column 1500 and in the cash column 500. Then bank charges 20, insurance 500 as shown by the passbook. Okay. So when he said they are shown by the passbook means here, these are the expenses which are being met from the bank account only. So simply imagine the entry. For bank charges, what is the entry? Bank charges account data to bank. For insurance premium, your entry will be insurance premium account data to bank. So simply in the bank column, we are going to post it on the credit side. So here you are going to write by bank charges. By bank charges in which column? In bank column 20. Then similarly, on the same day, by insurance premium. By insurance premium, how much? 500. Right? Now it is completed. The problem is completed. Now we should balance this one. How we are going to balance it? So leave some sufficient place here. Then you draw one column. For these three columns, the total column you are going to draw it. For discount, cash and bank. Similarly, here also you draw. See, discount columns you are going to total it on either side. You are not going to balance the discount columns. Simply you balance this one, only 50 rupees is there. Write down the total 50, that's all. No need to balance. Here we are having 70. Okay, that's all. There is no need to balance the discount columns. Now, cash columns, take these two cash columns, balance it and write the balance. Whichever side it may come, it may come on the debit side or it may come on the credit side. Similarly, for bank columns, total is there, let's balance it. Now on the debit side, if you total it up, you observe 5,374 plus 6,000 plus 700 plus 5,000 plus 8,000. The total on debit side will be 25,074, the total of this. Whereas if you total it up on credit side, it is 7,000 plus 700 plus 2,500 plus 100 plus 500, it comes up to 10,000, 10,800. Okay, so which side is more, debit side is more. That amount to write on either side. 25,074. 25,074. Okay, now from 25,074, if you subtract these balances, it comes up to how much? Check it out. 74, 2, 4, 1. 14,274. So that amount you are write down here. 14,274. Now this will be your buy balance carried down. Buy balance carried down. This is on the last day of the month there. In the June we have we have 30 days. 
so 30th date okay now this will become your opening balance on the next day of the month there that is on july 1st it will become two balance brought down the amount will be 14274 similarly if you totally tap on debit side the total will be 25650 whereas on credit side if you totally tap its total is that means this column if you totally tap it comes up to 9950 So debit side is more, so that amount we are writing in either total columns that is twenty five six fifty here, twenty five thousand six fifty here. Now from this if you subtract this, you will get fifteen thousand seven hundred. So this is fifteen thousand seven hundred. So this is the way of doing a three column cash flow. See our second problem. See go through the problem there. What it says two thousand and twenty. We are doing three column cash book. So, two thousand and twenty date year you write on year two thousand and twenty. Then what he said on May first, paid into bank, comma then again balance in hand. So first let's take balance in hand. Balance in hand means cash in hand it is. So cash will be showing debit balance. So on this day on May first, okay you write two balance brought down. That is. Balance brought down. Okay, cash balance is how much? Ten thousand. You write down in the cash column. Then again, on the same day, what is said? Paid into bank. What is paid? Cash is paid into bank. That means from cash, the money is deposited into bank on the same day. So what is the entry? Bank account data to cash. That is the entry. So bank account data to cash. Cash account. This is on first day only. Contra entry. It will be debited to bank account, so bank column, so bank account data to cash. Whereas here on the credit side on the same day, we are writing it as by bank, okay, by bank account contra, okay, where you are going to post it in cash column. You are going to post it because from cash, okay, sorry, the amount is how much? Five thousand. It is not ten thousand. So five thousand, five thousand. Okay, out of this ten thousand, five thousand is deposited into bank. So your entry is bank account data to cash. So in bank account debit side to cash, whereas in cash column it will be by bank. Okay, contra entry. Next you observe this problem is a nice good transactions are there in this problem. You can go through. Then again on May second, purchased goods. Okay, if this is purchased goods, it means you have purchased on cash. Okay. Well, how do you how do you assume that it is purchased on cash? See, if he has purchased on credit, he would have said goods purchased on credit, or he would have given one party's name. Nothing is said. That means these are cash purchases only. So your entry will be purchases account data to cash. So on credit side, it will be by purchases by purchases account. Where in cash column we are going to write it? How much? Two thousand. Then similarly. On fourth date, sold goods for cash. When the goods are sold for cash, okay, your entry will be cash is coming into your concern. Cash account data to sales. So in cash account debit side, okay, on fourth, it will be to sales account. Okay, in which column? In cash column. Seventeen hundred. You are going to debit it here. See on seventh. Purchased goods. How you have purchased goods? Once again, you have purchased goods. He said so by paying cash only. So they are cash purchases. So again on seventh, your entry will be purchases account data to cash. So credit side by purchases account in cash column. You are going to write it as fifteen hundred. Then again. Eighth date sold goods to Raju on credit. Observe this transaction sold goods to Raju on credit. Okay, which transaction it is? It is a credit transaction. They are the goods sold on credit. When goods are sold on credit to Raju, your entry will be Raju account data to sales. It will not come neither in the cash column, cash account, nor in the bank account. So it will not be posted here in this one. Then similarly, purchased goods from Gopal for one thousand. See when you have purchased from Gopal, he said that means you have purchased on credit. So when you have purchased on credit, your entry will be purchased account data to Gopal. So in that entry, in that particular entry, we are not getting neither cash nor bank. So in cash column, it will not be posted. Then again, this transaction you should leave it off. 
नेक्स्ट वन ट्वेल्थ वन यू ट्वेल्थ डेट यू सी पेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस इफ यू पेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस यूर एंट्री विल बी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस अकाउंट डेट आर टू कैश सो बाई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस By electricity charges, this is on twelfth. The amount is forty five rupees. Then fifteenth date received from Raju rupees four ninety in full settlement. Of the this time actually very nicely received 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 from Raju rupees four ninety in full settlement. He said that means for whatever money he is supposed to pay us. Against that he has paid four ninety and he has settled this his account. So first of all, you should be able to see how much money you are supposed to receive from Raju. For that eighth date transaction, you see on eighth date you have sold to Raju goods worth five hundred. Now out of that, in other words, you have sold on credit, so he is supposed to pay us five hundred. So I guess that five hundred he has paid four ninety and he has settled this account means the remaining the difference ten rupees we have allowed him the discount. So our entry will be what we have received cash we have received. So cash account data. Okay, from our side, if you observe from business point of view, cash is coming in, cash account data, discount allowed account data to Raju account. So on debit side, so to Raju it will come, to Raju account. Okay, this is on fifteen. Okay, discount how much you have allowed? Ten rupees discount you have allowed because you are supposed to receive five hundred. I guess then four ninety you have received it. So cash account data, discount account data to Raju. This is how we are going to post it here. Then. 18th rate C paid to Gopal 980 in full settlement in a similar pattern. You are supposed to pay money to Gopal against that amount payable. You have paid 980. So first of all, you see how much you are supposed to pay to Gopal. So for that, you can refer to 10th rate transaction. What is it? Purchase goods from Gopal for 1000. Okay, on that day you have purchased goods for 1000 on credit. That means now you are supposed to pay him 1000 rupees against that. You have paid 980 and you have settled your account. That means when you open 980, remaining 20 rupees discount he has allowed. That means from our point of view, we have received the discount. So our entry will be Gopal account data to okay. You have paid through cash only. Gopal account data to cash to discount received. So we are going to post it on the credit side because you have made the payment. So by Gopal, by Gopal account, how much you have paid 980 cash you have paid. Twenty rupees discount we have received in discount receipt column. Then twentieth day, sold goods for cash. Okay, you have sold goods for cash. At that time, your entry will be cash account data or two sales. So cash account data or two sales account. This is on twentieth day. Cash account data or two sales. That means in cash column you are going to write it. How much? Eight hundred rupees. Cash account data or two sales. Next twenty second sold goods to Chaitanya on credit for five hundred. When you have sold to Chaitanya on credit there, your entry will be Chaitanya account data to sales account. Okay, so neither here cash account is there nor bank account is there, so it will not be posted here in this one. It is a credit sales. Next on twenty third purchase from Guru. Okay, when you when you have purchased goods from Guru. Okay, when he says purchase from Guru, you have purchased on credit. So for credit purchase, your entry will be purchase account data to Guru. So neither cash is there nor bank is there. So it will not be posted in this account also. Then again, see received from Chaitanya rupees four eighty in full settlement. Okay. So earlier we have sold goods to Chaitanya worth five hundred on twenty second day. Okay. Again is that now we have received four eighty cash. We have received that means twenty rupees discount we have allowed to him. So your entry will be cash account data discount allowed account data to Chaitanya. So to Chaitanya, Chaitanya account. Okay, this is on twenty fifth. Discount you have allowed twenty rupees. So in the discount allowed column you write down twenty rupees here. In discount allowed column write down twenty. Whereas you have received four eighty rupees. Then similarly paid to Guru on account one thousand fifteen full settlement. Earlier on twenty third you have purchased. From Guru goods worth eleven hundred. I guess that now we have settled the account by paying ten thousand one thousand fifty. That means remaining fifty rupees is the discount received by you. So you are going to post on credit side because your entry is Guru account data or two. Guru account data. How much you have paid? One thousand fifty. How paid? Discount you have received fifty rupees. 
Then similarly on 27th, paid salaries. When you have paid salaries, your entry will be salaries account data to salaries account data to cash. So 175. Then similarly withdrew for personal use. Okay. What is withdrawn? Cash is withdrawn. Okay. For personal use. When it is withdrawn, where from it is withdrawn? Is it withdrawn from bank or for from the bank, from the office there, from the business there. Means here, he has not said from the bank there. So your entry should be drawings account data to cash account. So by drawings, you write. By drawings. By drawings account, 300 rupees. Then again, purchase goods by check. Purchase goods by check. If you have purchased goods by check, your entry should be purchase account data to bank account. Purchase account data to bank account. So it should be by purchases. Purchase account data to bank. That means in bank column 300. Then 29th date, paid telephone charges. When you have paid telephone charges, your entry will be telephone charges account data to telephone charges account data to cash account. So how much you have paid? 35 rupees you have paid. Then paid wages. If you have paid wages, your entry will be wages account data to cash. That means in cash column on credit side by wages. By wages account. How much? 500. Then similarly, Drawn goods for personal use. Drawn goods for personal use. What is drawn? Goods for personal use. When goods are drawn for personal use, what will be your entry? Drawings account data to purchases. That will be the entry. So here, neither that account is there, drawings account nor purchase account is there. So no posting here. So this is how we are going to post. Now we are going to balance this particular one. Okay, just like how we have balanced the earlier problem, like the we are going to balance here also. So total the discount columns. On either side there, just like if you total it here, it will be 10 plus 20, this is 30. Whereas here, if you post total it, 20 plus 50 is a 70. Now, this cash columns, you total it. See, debit side, if you total it up, your debit side total is more. Then that of the credit side total, this debit side total, it comes up to 13,470. So, same 13,470 because this total we are getting more on the debit side, the same amount you have written here also. From this, you subtract all this, you will get the balance here. The balance will be 1885. So this will be your by balance carried down. This is on the last day of this month. In May, we are having 31 days. So on 31st, which will become after May, we are having 2020 June 1st. It will be two balance brought down. Two balance brought down 1885. Now, similarly, this bank account, if you total it, if you see here, the total is 5000 on debit side, whereas only 300 is there on credit side. So, this amount is more. So, write down 5000. 5000. From 5000, subtract 300, it will be 4700. That will become the opening balance. 4700. This is how we are going to do the problem there. So, I hope you people have followed me. In my next video, okay, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I am going to put the next video. So, in the next video, again, two more problems I am going to tell on the recording cash book there. I want you people to follow the concepts clearly. So, please do share my video. Please do subscribe. Okay. Thank you very much.